in the Bronx and the uh, oh, it's that's that, uh, I, I think it was Alexander Hamilton married Mrs. De, the widow, but I'm not too much up on that. And uh, also uh, that was a way stop for uh, 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 Major Andre, who was hanged as a sp as a spy. On his way up to meet uh, with uh, Benedict Arnold, that was his stop overnight, the Jumel Mansion. Uh, it's a very, very picturesque place, but as I said, uh, that, uh, <laughs> that is my territory. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Who would have said the Bronx no bombs? The what? The Bronx no bombs. Oh, but that wasn't uh, Gower Du Parker, that was. Um, that's right, yeah. Yeah, she said the Bronx no thongs. And then this uh, Professor Oltan wrote to him one time, and uh, he, he, he had another little couplet that said something about how he was sorry or something. I don't remember. Uh, Perhaps as a final story, John, you can tell your, of your trip going up the Amazon River. My trip? Yes. Oh, uh, no, that wasn't the Amazon. That was uh, a river between uh, French Guiana and Dutch Guiana. Is that the one you mean? Oh, uh, rec uh, not recently, uh, a good 20 years ago now, uh, my wife and I were up the Amazon uh, then. No, it wasn't the Amazon. <laughs> well, anyway, we were in a dugout canoe, and I was very disappointed because the, uh, the native guide showed up with an outboard motor. And I, I was envisioning paddling up like a real explorer. Well, we went pretty far up, and uh, um, um, oh, and we were on our way back, and uh, we were coming down the stream, and an Indian paddled out, and he got into a talk with our guide, and uh, the guy was talking to me. I can understand Dutch pretty well, and uh, he told me that there was uh, another couple of people, white people, and some village down below us, and did I think we want to go and see them? Well, I said, well, it's on the way down, we'll stop and see them. Well, as we pulled into this village, there's all these uh, grass huts and jungles and everything, uh, there was a woman uh, down on the beach, and she was distributing candy to these little Indian kids, and uh, they were so naive and about it that they were, they were eating the paper and all, they didn't know you had to unwrap it. And she was trying to make them stop, and they couldn't understand why she was giving them to it one hand and saying no, no, no with the other. So uh, meanwhile, her husband was going into the huts, and he was buying up uh, carved uh, oars and uh, paddles, I should say, and carved uh, dishes, uh, bowls, and he was probably going to bring them home and sell them or something. And uh, he came out, and he saw my wife and I stand there, and he says, oh, hello there. You speak English? So we said, I said, yeah. He says, where are you from? So my wife said, New York, and I said, Bronx. And uh, he says to his wife, they're from the Bronx. We're from Gun Hill Road. <laughs> <laughs> and they turned out to be a very nice couple who had a, a cleaning establishment up there. And uh, so anyway, the guy was standing there, and he, he spoke a little English too. And, uh, he says, do you know these people? I said, no, no. I said, but they're from the Bronx. He says, and what are Bronx? <laughs> so I finally said to my wife, hey, we finally got to some place where they never heard of the Bronx. <laughs>